This is a public service announcement I feel I had to make as I have another scam alert. This involves a company named CarShield. Here is the email I sent to them. Dear CarShield, First things first, look at the two attachments I sent you. Go ahead. Look at those two five-star reviews. Now, what do you have to say for yourself that the words in both reviews are exactly the same, but the names are different? Obviously, they are fake reviews put there by CarShield themselves. Also, the few five-star reviews that are on the Better Business Bureau website are so vague. These reviews don't contain any specifics whatsoever. You only put the best reviews on your website that made me suspicious. I went to the Better Business Bureau website and saw a massive amount of horror stories from your customers that were one-star reviews. These people wish they were given the option to give no stars. I have never signed up with CarShield. Why? Because I did my research and I thank the good Lord above that I did. What was clearly presented to me by the abundance of one-star reviews tells me that you run a scam. I feel bad for all those people you ripped off. It took me hours to scroll down trying to see all the one-star reviews, but there were too many to see, so I had to stop scrolling after a few hours. You only want to satisfy your wallet and you don't care who you rip off. Don't you care about the day when this world ends and that you will be judged by God? I am a pastor who calls out deception when I see it. You are a major contributor to deception. You do not care how you make money. You do not care how many people you deceive. Why don't you quit your deceptive practices and treat people the way you want to be treated? What does the Bible say about deception? Proverbs 26 verses 24 to 26 reads, Enemies disguise themselves with their lips, but in their hearts they harbor deceit. Though their speech is charming, do not believe them, for seven abominations fill their hearts. Their malice may be concealed by deception, but their wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. This email to you has been included as part of my sermon series on deception that will be shown on my YouTube channel. I am doing this because I don't want to see more people fall victim to your deceptive practices. You need to be stopped. The link I have sent you, along with the two fake five-star reviews, will be shown on my YouTube channel. Mark 8 verses 36 to 38 reads, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Regards, Reverend Elaine. Stay away from Car Shield and run away as fast as you can. That's all for today and bye for now.